Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from The Technology Firm. So today, we are going to take a peek at ICMP redirects. And I'll, uh, you know what, jump right into it. So I was asked to clean up a network, and I started with a simple packet capture. And this is um, the easiest thing I could ever suggest you do. Uh, there's no span ports, uh, no SNMP, no taps. There, you don't need anything extra. No configuration uh, or reconfiguration to the switch is required. So I just plugged in. I got an IP address, obviously. And then I captured some packets while I pinged good old 8888. And that is Google Public DNS IP. I saw some ICMP redirect packets and um, I asked the analyst I was working, I said, uh, hey, you know, what are all these things? And he was really confused because he was capturing at the same time I was. He pinged the same thing I did, but he didn't see any ICMP redirect packets. And um, the following slides, I'll walk you through what a redirect packet is and how we resolve this issue. But long story short, with respect to him and his issue, he had a firewall slash security endpoint thing loaded. Um, and it doesn't matter what the vendor is, because people always ask me which one is it. It doesn't matter. They, a lot of them do the same thing. And basically, it was blocking all ICMP packets. So basically, for example, you couldn't ping him, because ICMP is what the ping protocol uses. Well, it's also what messaging protocols use for errors, and in this case, redirects. So in some cases, if you do have firewalls loaded on your machine and you are using Wireshark, you may want to consider disabling them while you capture packets, and then you can always turn it back on when you are done. <clears throat> a little bit about the network. This is me, and uh, my IP is 30.85, and the gateway was 30.243. So even though this is a switch, it's a layer 3 switch, so it is set up with routing, and it is my default gateway. So there's 243, and that's my gateway. So I'm going to send my ping to this guy, and then he's going to fire it off through the network. So if we take a look at the actual trace, we have packet number 1, which I've made blue here, it goes off to 88888, which is basically my default gateway, this guy. Now it's his problem. And in packet number two, you can see 30.85 redirect. And uh, that's me, obviously. He's talking to me. He's saying there's a redirect. And 243 is telling me something. And I'm going to show you the packet in a moment. But then packet number three, you can see the ping comes back. So as far as I'm concerned, the ping worked anyways. But this is what I talked about in the written piece. When you have redirect packets, you should really take a moment to find out why they're there, if they're there by design. If they're not, you might want to fine-tune your network. Fixing this may not yield any noticeable appreciative performance gain, but it's going to make things a lot cleaner, and it's going to make it easier to troubleshoot when there is a problem. So back to the packet. So packet number two, we're going to take a look inside, and you can see there's the ICMP header. And it says it's a redirect, it's a type 5, and it's a redirect for a network. And this is kind of important. And in the written piece, I give you uh, codes 0 through 3 that this references. The important part is at the bottom here. It tells me the gateway address I should be using, 30.252. And we're going to find out what that is. We'll go back to the diagram in a moment. And the original header. So this, this part is, is quite important to get if you don't see that. Um, it ha does happen with some hosts that with ICMP they don't give you the copy of the original packet. It's not too often but it could happen. More than likely when that happens you might have packet slicing enabled and you're kind of chopping this off. So make sure if you do have packet slicing please make sure you have I don't know 70 to 80 bytes and, and then you'll see this header. So back to this. So this guy 243 is telling me hey you you should really be talking at 30.252 and it's that simple. So in this particular network, um, all these other subnets, they are the default gateway, and then they go to 252, which works just fine. Unfortunately, in their DHCP scope, they use that same layout for the same subnet over here. So on the 30 subnet, if you want to call it that, 10.16.30, its default gateway should be 252. Now, in this particular network, the 30 network is like their management VLAN. So there isn't a lot of stuff there anyways, but for the sake of being consistent and for the sake of just doing things properly, we changed the default gateway on this laptop to 252. So now when we do a ping, you'll see the ping go out and the ping come back. Now, I strongly encourage you to figure out these things when there's not a lot of packets and when you have a lot of time. Because if you did have an issue, trying to figure this out amongst everything else is going to be quite challenging. So ICMP redirects is what this is all about. I'm going to have other articles talking about other types of ICMP messages you might want to look for. Hope that helped. Have a good day. Bye for now.